One crop farming is over. Agroforestry is a real, actionable way to regenerate soil, clean our water, capture our carbon, produce a healthy abundance of nutritious foods, natural medicines, sturdy building materials, and preserve heirloom seeds to bring valuable products directly to the market. It's where working with nature, traditional knowledge, and human innovation come together. Agroforestry works, so come on, let's go. Hey everybody, so today we are going to talk about what happens when your pioneers get out of control. Okay, so here we have a gorgeous little lime tree that has come into production now for about a year. And back here, we have a beautiful tangerine tree that is ready to come into production. It's got flowers and it's going to start fruiting soon. And then here we have a messy, clumpy, out of control banana clump. And this is also obviously in production. We've got bananas. And over here, we have another big mess of a clump, banana clump, out of control, okay? Now, what's going on here, okay? So when you're regenerating a degraded plot, like we started here with the pasture, as I've explained in many, many other videos, you need to start with pioneers. Pioneers are fast growing plants that create a lot of canopy, create a lot of biomass, create a lot of shade in a very short period of time. We also get fruit and food from them. So we use bananas and plantains. So this banana here and that banana clump over there originally were the nurse plants, the shelter plants for this beautiful lime tree and the tangerine tree back there. But now, as you can see, the lime tree and the tangerine tree are big and they no longer really need the care of their parents and the parent clump has really started to spiral out of control. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to clean up a banana clump, clump first of all, because there's no need to despair over this. And it's not really so much of an out of control clump as it is a great resource for biomass, fertilizer, all these green leaves contain lots of minerals and nitrogen. So I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and show you how to put this all material all to good use. Okay, so what was I doing in that frenzied bout of activity? Uh, well, I thinned out the clumps of the bananas. I just left the one that is in production. These are actually, I think we'll harvest these next week. These are about ready to come down. Thinned out the clumps so that uh, the bananas will continue to grow straight, leaving just one that is already in production and another pata, that's what we call the young ones, by their sides, uh, ready to come up and give us another bunch of bananas. So we've got one in production and then one by the side, ready to come up and give us bananas. Uh, three is about the maximum for a clump. When you're thinning out clumps of bananas or plantains, guys, try to thin it down to three, yeah? Now, you might think, oh my God, what a waste. What a waste. Oh my goodness, she's cutting down trees that are gonna give fruit. Actually, no, what I'm doing is I am managing my pioneer species that have gotten out of control and I'm using those resources for it in a really great way. So what I've done here is I've cut the trunks of the bananas that I've planted, of, that I've thinned out. And as you can see, it's just furled up leaves inside. It's very soft material. It's not really like a woody trunk. It's a soft trunk. And then what I did is I made a V here on the ground, bringing the two trunks together and then they branch out to the sides on either side of my uh, tangerine tree. So I've made a V and then inside the V, I've loaded that up. I filled that up with green material, with banana leaves, okay? Then this material here can get eaten by microbes. It will break down. It will nourish the tree because you can see I'm on a slope. So I don't want all that erosion, yeah, all that topsoil running off. So what's going to happen is I've created a sink for the nutrients, yeah? And I've also done the same thing over here on a little bit of a bigger scale. Same thing. I took down a big banana, yeah, that was cro growing crooked and didn't really have any reason to be there because it was just going to fall over anyway. So I made, again, I made a V. Let's back up a little bit so you can see the V. There you go. You can see the V. 
Yeah, nice V-shape and filled it up with mulch, filled it up with organic materials. And that, again, was going to help to give the soil a good boost right around uh, this banana clump right here. And also the V is going to catch nutrients. It's going to catch topsoil. It's going to let it all percolate around. Yeah. And it's just a really great resource now instead of thinking of it as waste material or, oh, my God, I have to go kill a banana tree. That's not what it's about at all. So in Centropic Agroforestry, your pioneer crops, the ones that you use to colonize, yeah, and re start begin regenerating a degraded land, we call this the placenta phase. And it's such a nice way to put it because it's like, that's what they're doing. They're nourishing. Yeah, all of this is going to break down. It's going to nourish the soil underneath. It's going to provide homes for beetles and earthworms and ant colonies and all sorts of great things, yeah, that are going to help out the soil. And... One of the most important things to keep in mind when you're creating here, this was all just grass, let me remind you, your agroforestry system, your multi-strata system, is to know when the parents have done their job, right? When the placenta has reached its peak and when it's time for your target species, yeah, your accumulation phase, which we have here in these limes, to begin. So at the end of the day, remember, it's not just about growing, it's also knowing when to prune, when to th take things down, and how to keep your agroforestry system in a constant cycle of regeneration. Yeah, don't get attached to your plants, okay? They all have their job to do, they've all got their function, and I know it's hard, because especially for us, we didn't have even have anything to eat in the beginning, we just had bananas and plantains. And it's hard for me to come in here and cut these guys down. But I also have to realize that right now, a lot of them are also getting in the way of the target species. They're starting to shade them out. Uh, the vegetation is really rampant. So instead of, you know, bemoaning and moaning about it, oh, I forgot to prune my bananas and I have to go cut them down. That's not it at all. What I'm doing is I'm coming in and I'm, I'm taking that placenta, the nourishment from the placenta and, and using it, using it in a really great way to keep the system in a constant state of regeneration. Okay, everybody, and please keep in mind, if you find these videos beneficial to your education about agroforestry, ecosystem regeneration, uh, you can check us out on our Patreon channel. I put exclusive content up there every month, just questions for our Patreon to ask Q&A. And also I've got a little get fit off grid workout series going that uh, you guys can participate in once you sign up for our Patreon as well. Uh, there's tons of information on our website. All of it's free. I also like to write. So I've got a lot of good blog posts up there and I scale it down too. So if you're not ready to come out and do a full on centropic agroforestry project out here in the cloud forest of uh, Ecuador, you can find tons of home permaculture information on our website, lots of blogs, courses offered, etc. So please head on over to www.sdvforest and check that out. Check out the blog.